Carolina on Sunday. It's great to have you with us. Kegla Benji ready to serve for Coastal Carolina. The Shaunts in the black. The Blue Devils are in the blue. And off we go from Cameron. Opening touch to Gracie Johnson for the Blue Devils. She'll get the first attack. Goes cross court and plants one hole. Gracie Johnson, the graduate student from Virginia Beach, with her 89th kill of the year. She now needs 69 kills to break into the top 10 in Duke history. The preseason All-ACC selection with her 1,222nd career kill. Served there for Emma Worthington for the Blue Devils, who are off to the early start. Johnson over the play at Worthington. Sets. This is Carrie Keith, the left-handed attack. Tried to finesse one to the back row. Nice dig there by Coastal. Off the block. Bryant keeps it alive. Another swing in the middle for Lizzie Fleming. Couldn't deposit that one home. Lewis up to play it. Now the set in the middle. Fleming makes it 2-0 Duke. Fleming, the graduate student from San Francisco, California. Blue Devils able to feed the middle there, get Coastal a little bit out of system. And the Blue Devils off and running here out to a 2-0 start for head coach Jolene Nagel in her 25th year in Durham. Worthington, the graduate student, serving again for the Blue Devils. The transfer and off the double block. It's Keefe combining there with Fleming to help get the Blue Devils on the board again. It is 3-0. Now Fleming needs eight blocks entering play today to break into the top ten in program history. Lizzie Fleming currently 391 blocks in her career. Coastal on the attack. Richardson on the back row there to receive it. Here's Kerry Keith, left-handed shot to the back row, dug out nicely. The set by Benji, a cross-court finesse there from Jasmine Revis, who is able to deposit one but puts it out. And now Coast really needing a side out here as the Blue Devils have got out to a 4-0 start. And the service continues here for Emma Worthington. The Cornell transfer has an ace. That's something the Blue Devils really focus a lot on, is being a tough-serving team. Assistant coach talking with Coach Clements today. They're really trying to be a cohesive unit, use their experience and prepare their players. And the uh, shot to clear is five and five as play begins today and they've won a couple matches. But the Blue Devils are off and running here in the opening set, a six nothing start as Gracie Johnson just cherry picking one there at the net, her second kill of the contest. Johnson trying to become Another Blue Devil with 1,300 kills and 1,300 digs. That served a little long, and finally a side out there for Coastal Carolina to get on the board. Jasmine Rivas will serve now. Rivas, the redshirt senior from Montreal, Quebec, and Canada. They missed some time in the preseason playing for Team Canada in the Pan Am Games and the Dominican Republic, and she's a big key cog for the Sean to clears, but Gracie Johnson is a big cog for the Blue Devils. Another kill for Johnson. She now has a three kill opening set and the Blue Devils are out to a seven to one advantage. As we mentioned it earlier, Johnson looking to become the 13th player in program history with a thousand kills and a thousand digs. She has already accomplished that feat with the kills, trying to get there with the digs, 892 career digs as play begins today and should get to that thousand dig number by the time the season is over. 7-2, Blue Devils leading here in the opening set. Richardson on the serve, receive. Back set, Keith to the back line, and another point for the Blue Devils. Kerry Keith led the team with 110 kills entering play today. Averaged over three and a quarter kills per set. Another one there for the Blue Devil sophomore. And Duke out to the 8-2 advantage. Out the double block, that's blocked out. It'll be Jalen Stout who gets credit with the kill there, the put away. And Stout, who serves now for Coastal Carolina, talking with Coach Clements today, really impactful player as a first year player for the Shawnta Clears. Now, missed some time in the preseason, missed the match last weekend, but was back against UNCW. And when she's on the court, she can be really impactful and has that left-handed swing too, which is always even more dangerous. Dangerous there in the middle for the Blue Devils. Another put away for Duke. It's Jess Robinson who puts it away, the graduate transfer from Michigan. Robinson who posted a career best 21 kills against West Virginia earlier this year, has her first of this match. And the Blue Devils have a six point lead, make it a seven point lead as that attack goes a little long, so an attack error there. 
no, I beg your pardon, they say the Blue Devils did touch it, no challenge. So Coastal gets the point, 9-4 the advantage for the Blue Devils. And Lauren Malone, the redshirt junior out of Round Rock, Texas, to serve. She's a dangerous server, leads the team with 14 aces this year. Line drive serve to Johnson. Richardson on the attack, blocked in at another point for the Chanticleers. But we're getting it done at the net there. But Gata Lizak was big key there to the block for Coastal Carolina. And one of the keys for the Chanticleers entering this match was to be able to serve it tough and get the Blue Devils kind of out of system a little bit, dumped over by Worthington. Good play that time by Coastal, but it's Robinson and Worthington combining on the double block. Sub for Coastal as Bailey Earnhardt, a sophomore from Easley, South Carolina, in to play the back row, pass a little bit as Malone goes out and Richardson back to serve. Richardson, 16 kills in the come from behind win over Clay uh, Creighton earlier this year in five sets. Set, they have cross court attack that time by Rivas. At the net, blocked by Worthington, kept alive by Varani, and now kind of bangs off of Madison Bryant, floated to the back row, might have been going out. Earnhardt plays it. Now this way, a cross-court attack, and Rivas puts it away. Really good cut shot there by Rivas going to the cross-court from her, the far corner from her. Last year, Rivas playing in 24 matches, seven starts, played 61 sets, finished fourth on the team with 132 kills, and was... Leading the team with over four kills per set as this match began today. Keith attacks, and another kill for the sophomore, Carrie Keith. It's her second of this opening set, an 11 to six Blue Devil advantage. Duke hitting a blistering 455 so far in the match. Now Madison Bryant, the second year Blue Devil player, a graduate transfer. Played her undergrad at Tennessee, now in a Duke uniform for the second season. Cross court, is that in? It is. Really good shot there by Lizek. She went cross court, and now Coach Nagel might want to challenge this one. She's asking her bench if she should challenge, and the players say, I don't know, Coach. A sub here for Coastal as Benji back in. She will serve. Benji, the junior, the transfer from Seton Hall, played in 32 matches with 113 sets for the Pirates last year. 508 assists, four and a half assists per set, but serves here. Gracie Johnson had that one pinball right off of Benji and a 12 to seven lead for the Blue Devils. Emma Worthington, a native of Omaha, they know something about Volleyball in the state of Nebraska, don't they? A great crowd at Nebraska a couple of weeks ago playing at Memorial Stadium outdoors, over 90,000. That one dropped in by Coastal Carolina. Good play there by the Shants. Revist in to serve, and Malone also checking back in to play the front row there, play the outside. Revis, the go-to hitter for Coastal, puts it in play. Set, back set, Keith finesses one near line. Dug out nicely by Lewis. The nice set to the back row. Worthington sets up Johnson. And Fleming in the middle puts another one home. Coastal might have wanted a ball handling error there on the Blue Devils. Didn't get it. Lizzie Fleming with her second kill of this opening set. Fleming saw action in just 11 contests last year with four blocks or more posted a great season for the Blue Devils. And Keith nearly short armed that one, but got it in. I think the Chanticleers thought that Keith might have been over the net when she made contact there. Officials didn't see it that way. A commanding lead for the Blue Devils. Here in set number one, great to have you with us on ACC Network Extra tonight. Johnson skims the top of the net with that line drive serve. Malone to the back row, dug out nicely by Bryant. Now Richardson with the right hand. Tipped a couple of times, and another one for Rachel Richardson. Richardson, 52 kills on this season. Coach Nagel in our conversation prior to the match really talking about how Richardson has upped her game in a variety of ways. 
in the middle. Now set to the back row. Bryant there to dig it out. Here's Worthington for Fleming. Off the tip. No, they say not tipped. Blue Devils were calling for it. It'll be out. And now Coach Nagel will challenge this one. She looked back. And the Blue Devil is now with a 16-8 opening set lead. And Gracie Johnson ready to serve. Johnson is one of the best servers on the Blue Devils a year ago and this year as well. On well, the service error there, that was her 31st service error to go along with 16 aces. And that was one of the things Coach Nagel really highlighted in our conversation today was just how tough the Blue Devils have been serving. Seven-point Duke lead. Served to the shots of clears. Keith down the line. And Kerry Keith, the sensational sophomore, does it again. Her fourth kill already tonight. Keith was named to the ACC All-Freshman team last year. And with good reason, had eight ACC matches with 10 or more kills a season ago. Had a double-double earlier this year against Creighton. And as well on her way to double figure kills again tonight. Punched over, and Blue Devils out of system. There's not much they could do. And that was what Coastal wanted to do. Wanted to extend the rally, put themselves in system, take Duke out of system, and really force their outside hitters, they being the Blue Devils' outside hitters, to make some passes, put them in an out of system situation. They did that there, worked out nicely. And we'll see if the Shanta Clears can get on a roll here with Jalen Stout, the freshman out of Gainesville, Florida, two-time Florida High School Athletic Association 4A state champion. And Stout with a great serve. Bryant gets to it. Johnson bumps it over. Blue Devils a little out of sorts here. Get back in system as that one goes cross court and is out. Not touched at all by the Blue Devils. A really good idea there by Coastal. Just couldn't drive it to the back line. Here's Kerry Keith to serve. Floats it out. A service error on the Blue Devils. Their fourth service error of this opening set to go along with one ace. Blue Devils are hitting 600 though as a team. Coastal hitting 056 right now and trying to change that here. Bailey Earnhardt, the easily South Carolina native, over a thousand digs in her high school career. Played in 22 matches as a rookie for Coastal last year. In the middle, Worthington sets it for Robinson. Dug out, and not much that the Chanticleers can do there after that really good shot by Robinson. Tough ball to handle, it went over the antenna on the outside, and Duke closing in on a first set victory here, leading 19 to 11. And Rachel Richardson to serve. And another error. Blue Devils really want to serve tough, but I'm sure Coach Nagel not exactly happy with the number of service errors, the fifth now this first set for the Blue Devils. Lewis puts it in play. Johnson with the cross-court attack. Blue Devils by eight. Madison Bryant, who played for the Blue Devils last year, as we mentioned earlier, had a season-ending injury just six matches into the season, but graduated in three years from Tennessee, now playing her final year in a Duke uniform. Blocked. Bryant gets to it. Worthington back set for Keefe. Dug out nicely by Earnhardt. Blue Devils set again. Worthington in the middle for Fleming. And another tremendous dig that time by Stout. Coastal extending the rally. Keefe. Good pass. This is Johnson. Couldn't terminate the rally. Coastal continues with this long back and forth. Bumped over. Worthington in the middle. And the setter gets it done for the Blue Devils to terminate the point. Timeout. Shanta clears their final of this opening set. And the Blue Devils racing out to a 21 to 12. A pair of matches sweeping Virginia last weekend. And then beating UNCW at home at the HTC Center earlier this week, three sets to one. They trail Duke here in opening set action. Blue Devils six and three this year 
in opening sets. Floated over by Bryant. Back set, blocked nicely, dug out by Earnhardt, and keeping the rally alive is Lewis nicely. Now in the middle, Fleming off the block. Another great play by Lewis to keep it going. Rally continues, and a point for the Chanticleers. Jasmine Rivas, the all-world performer for the Chanticleers, the Canadian who played for the national team in the Pan Am Games, puts that ball away. And maybe that sparks a little rally here for the Chanticleers as Benji, the Turkey native, goes back to serve. But serves that one long. First service error of this opening set for the Chanticleers. And Duke hoping to close in on a first set win here momentarily. Worthington to serve. Back row dug out nicely on a really tough serve by Lewis. Blocked, Keefe up to play it. Worthington sets, back row attack. And unable to score that time for the Blue Devils. Played up nicely again by Duke. Now Johnson blocked and a point. Nikki Underwood couldn't quite get to that one. She had the nice back row attack. 22-14, Rivas to serve. Malone back in for Coastal to play the front row. Underwood with the swing. Now Johnson times her jump and delivers. Miscommunication there by Coastal. Pretty easy ball you feel like for the Shanta clears to handle there. But Johnson, as she timed her leap, found a hole in that Coastal zone. Put it home and the Blue Devils now two points away from an opening set victory. Johnson has the serve. Keefe kind of free balls that one over. In the middle, Johnson digs it out. Worthington passing it. Johnson back row attack again, just feathered over the top of the net. Blue Devils a little out of sorts here on this lengthy rally. Back set for Richardson, and it's in, they say. Set point for Duke. And the shot's not going to challenge. Johnson serves it in. Short, punched over. Fleming and Richardson are there. And the opening set belongs to Duke, 25 to 14. Duke hits 485 in the open. Assistant of Coach Nagel for a while. Well, then Trudy made the call. Said, hey, you need to check out Emma. She'd like to keep playing. Joey Nagel checked out the body of work for Worthington. Saw that she was a tremendous player, a great setter. And she's here in a Duke uniform. A service error there. Blue Devils now with six service errors tonight. Coastal with the first point of this, this second set. Worthington has the set now. Kerry Keefe tries to go cross score, but it's blocked out by Coastal Carolina. And Duke quickly evens up this second set with Gracie Johnson heading back to the service line. Johnson, six kills, couple of digs already tonight. Johnson on the season has... Three double-doubles, but another service error here. Blue Devils, again, want to serve tough. That's what the identity of this team really has been over the last couple of years. The Blue Devils have continued to try to be a team that serves really, really tough. Serving is a strength, as Coach Nagel said today. Blue Devils last season finished fourth in the ACC, won 183 aces. That's over one and a half aces per set, but only have one so far tonight. And in the middle, pinballed around. Fleming... Couldn't terminate the point and into the net there. It's a point for the Blue Devils on that ball handling error for Coastal. Christina Barrow in to serve here for the Blue Devils. Really tough serve there. Nice serve received. Tipped a couple of times. Now, a miss swing there. It looked like by Robinson, Blue Devils were a little out of sorts and now having to get right back in the swing of things. And that's really what Coach Nagel wants her team to do is not to let what happened maybe in the previous point, if there was an, an error or, or maybe a, a misplay, don't let that carry over 
to the next point. Down by points. See if the Blue Devils can come back here. Richardson the serve receive. Worthington the pass. Right back to Richardson. And she hits that one a little wide. Tried to go cross court there. Did Richardson kind of toward the near side. But had a little bit too much pace on that swing. Coastal out to the 4-2 edge early in set number two. Blue Devils, of course, winning the opening set, 25-14. Now a powerful swing by Jess Robinson, the transfer, a graduate transfer from Michigan. Played in 28 matches with 10 or more kills in her career before transferring to the Duke Blue Devils. That one to the back row. Another put away eyes there. For the Sean to clear, is Coastal hanging tough? Here's we start set number two. Is Revis who gets the kill, and a five to three Sean to clear advantage. <laughs> Unal had the serve. Worthington sets up Richardson down the line, and into the net goes the Blue Devils. But they say it was Coastal into the net first. 5-4, Duke to within one. Richardson to serve. Fifth meeting between these two clubs. Blue Devils have won all four. And looking for their eighth straight win with a victory tonight. Richardson on the back row. Bryant for Johnson. Another one. Her seventh of the match. And we're all square at five. Johnson only one error, seven kills and 11 attacks. She's hitting 545 so far. And Richardson with the second ace of the match for the Blue Devils, her 11th of the season. Duke is now vaulted out in front. And maybe another one for Richardson. No, really good play there by Lewis to keep it alive. It's free balled over. Brian up to play it. Worthington for Johnson. How about number eight for number seven? Played over. Set in the middle, punched that way, and finally putting away for Coastal is Vereni, the redshirt sophomore out of Italy. Really effective slide it is the sophomore for the Shants to clears. Helps the Shants not be so one-dimensional as an offense. Last year appeared in 21 matches, had one start, played in 67 sets. Coastal gets the service back. Left-handed serve that time from South. Cross court by Johnson, and just the second error on Gracie Johnson so far tonight. 7-7, seven, seven, we're in the second set. Duke already up one set to none by virtue of their 25-14 victory in the opening stanza. Stout again. Bryant, now Johnson off the carom for another kill. Johnson now one away from reaching double figures. Eight, seven. Blue Devils by one. Madison Bryant to serve. Floats one over. Lewis plays it. Set. Go, trying to go down the near line that time was Lezak. Coastal another back row attack from Revis. Now Fleming in the middle had it blocked out. Three kills for Fleming tonight. Couple of blocks. Remember, Fleming chasing top 10 in program history now needs six more blocks to crack the top 10. And that'll crack the scoring column again for Duke. Another ace from Nikki. 10-7, Duke by three, second stanza. It'll be Duke serving. Madison Bryant has the honors here for Duke. Blue Devils in the midst of a 3-0 scoring run, make it 4-0 as Bryant has another ace, her second of the match for the Blue Devils. 
Talked a lot about Duke wanting to serve tough. Coach Nagel saying that the service is a strength for this team. Now 11-7 Duke. Bryant serves again. Nearly an ace, but Coastal able to play it, gets it over. Johnson had it blocked, but right to Keith. Now dunked over by Fleming. Coastal rallies and scores. Lauren Malone puts it away for the Chanticleers to break the 4-0 spurt, get the side out, and now Bailey Earnhardt will serve. Talking with the coaching staff for Coastal earlier today, really pleased with how competitive the team has been so far this year. They faced a lot of adversity early in the season with injury and illness, and last week and had to use a different lineup, but that really allowed the depth of the bench to show up. Kids have really stepped up and have played focus. This is a Coastal team that's played a little bit of 6-2, mostly some 5-1. And served in nicely there by the Blue Devils. To the back row, another put away for Rivas. Her fifth of the match. And Coastal now to within three. It's 12-9 Duke. Lewis to serve. Lewis, the rookie libero from St. John's, Florida, recorded the most digs and Bartman Trail High School history and has an ace here. Her seventh ace of the season. Coastal to within two, it's 12 to 10. Played in. Johnson hits it in. Right down the line. Tenth kill of the contest for Gracie Johnson. Blue Devil is now leading by three, and Johnson ready to serve. And out that time for Rivas, tried to go across court, maybe a little bit of a cut shot there, and hit it a little long. Johnson serving again. And wide again from Agata Lizak, the junior from Poland. Duke's rattled off three straight points here with Johnson at the service line. Looking for fourth. Tough serve. Lizak there to play it. Bumped over, now free balled over by Lizak. Fleming in the middle. Oh, what a dig by Coastal. That was stout there. I think they dug it out, and it was just in, and the Shanta clears to within four. Tremendous play. So after the side out, Benji there, ready to serve. Left-handed serve, floats one to the back. Johnson there on the serve receive. Now the attack by Keith, and another. The sixth of the contest for Kerry Keefe. Gets the service right back for the Blue Devils. Five point Duke advantage. Duke already a victor in set number one, 25 to 14, looking to create some separation here in this second set. Bar the serve, back set, punched over Richardson and the Blue Devils get another. Barrow serves it in. Stout, left-handed shot. Barrow keeps it alive. Johnson on the back row. Just got it over there. Now Coastal in rhythm, trying to set it up. And they do. They finish the attack. Rivas tried to finesse it over, found a soft spot in the Duke defense, and gets the shot to clears on the board again. Couple of subs back in for the Blue Devils here. Robinson is in. Now the serve skims the top of the net. Richardson tried to come up and play the pancake, but 
A tremendous serve by Rivas. An ace, her 13th of the campaign. And now a 17-13 Blue Devil advantage. Rivas again. Oh, an ace back to back for the Coastal Senior. Now 17-14, back-to-back aces for the Chanticleers. Richardson receives the serve, now tries to terminate the point, and does again. Fifth put away of the match for Rachel Richardson. Blue Devil so far in this second set, hitting 500. Hitting 490 for the match, leading by four. The set by Benji, dug across the net there by Bryant. Now the put away in the middle. Daria Unal, the Oregon State transfer, the junior. Coastal back on the board again. Unal played in 28 matches for the Beavers last year, 19 starts. 75 kills, 53 blocks, and 22 digs a year ago. And she's ready to serve. Serves Richardson at the net. It's Coastal again. Valentina Verarni. The Italian makes it 18-16 and the Shants refusing to go quietly here in set number two. Another great serve by Unal. And a big swing by Robinson. Cross court to the back corner. Duke by three. Rachel Richardson now. At the net. Little finesse over there by Arnie. Now Johnson swings the arm. Dug out nicely on the back row by Rivas. Coastal trying to go cross court. Blocked out. Was not touched by the shots on the way down. And a headsy play there by Coastal. Shanta clears on the board again. Still down by two. They've got to find a way to get a little bit of a rally here to A, maintain the serve, and B, can't keep trading points with the Blue Devils. Powerful swing by Robinson, couldn't terminate. Bryant digs it out. Johnson, down the line, another one for Gracie Johnson. Her 11th kill of the night. And it's now Duke leading by three. And Madison Bryant ready to serve. Bryant has been tremendous at the service line tonight. Couple of aces, three assists and nine digs for the Blue Devil libero. Floats it over. Received by Lewis, cross court, another dig by Bryant. Now Johnson swings the arm, blocked in. On that right side, Malone and Verarni combining on the double block. And Coastal's done a nice job on the block tonight. Their fourth block as a team, 20 to 18. Blue Devils by a pair. Back row attack, Keith. Now a blistering shot by Rivas right in front of Keith. And all of a sudden, Coastal within one. 20 to 19. Blue Devils looking for the side out. Coastal looking to tie up this second set. Worthington feeds Johnson. Yes. A dozen for Gracie Johnson. And the Blue Devils again maintain a little bit of separation. Two point Duke advantage. Blue Devils four points away from a commanding two sets to none lead. Keith. Worthington. Johnson going to try it again. Off the tip, you bet. A baker's dozen, 13 kills for Gracie Johnson. 
And the Shantik Blue Devils have the serve with their setter, Emma Worthington, the Cornell grad transfer. Worthington having another nice night. 25 assist, a kill, an ace, a dig, and a block. That one served a little long. And a headsy play by the Chanticleers not to touch that one. Service back to Coastal. Lewis puts it in play. Worthington setting it up for Fleming. Oh, a great play there by Earnhardt to keep it alive for the Chanticleers. Now the attack dug out nicely by Underwood. Kept alive for Johnson who flips it over. The rally continues. The set Revis off the tip. And the Shanta clears to within one. Lewis continues with the serve. Played in by Johnson. Worthington now for Keith to the back row and in. Seven kills for Kerry Keith. Duke now two points away. Blue Devils won the opening set 25 to 14. Used a really big advantage there to start this first set. Rattled off seven straight points to start. And this has been a little more back and forth as evident by that kill from Revis. Sean Teclears have been down by two a couple different times in this first set. It seems like Duke's been able to maintain that one two point, two to three point lead primarily over the back half of this second set. And Coastal's got back to within one as they are now. And let's see if Coastal can find a way to tie it up. Serve here from Benji. Worthington, back set, Keith tries to finesse one over and does, drop, dropping it just in front of Sidney Lewis. And it is set point for Duke. And it's Barrow who will come in to serve. And a couple of set points here for the Blue Devils. And an error from Barrow. So this is a pretty important point here for Coastal. Remember, first one to 25, must win by two. Blue Devils leading 24-23 here, so Coastal needs this one to obviously tie it up and force extra points here. Richardson, the serve receive, dunked over! Right there in the middle, no! And we're all square in set number two, 24-24. So which team will take the advantage here? Served out, advantage to Duke. And now the Blue Devils will serve for the second set with Kerry Keith, the sophomore from Pacific Palisades. Keith served into Lewis. Now the attack down the line, and we're all square 25. Jalen Stout puts that one away, her first of the contest. Now Coastal serving for the advantage. Unal, the Oregon State transfer, who tied it up at 24 in this second set, will serve. Richardson. Off the great serve received. Now a big swing by Robinson. And Duke again with the advantage, 26-25. Rachel Richardson serving for the set. Pinballs around, kept alive, back row attack. There's Bryant to dig it out. Here's Gracie Johnson to finish the set for the Blue Devils. Great to have you with us. Chris Edwards with you tonight. It'll be Jayla Stout with the honors to start the third set. 
The Chanticleer gets it over. Back set, Kerry Keefe, another kill. Her ninth of the contest, everybody chasing Gracie Johnson, who has 14 kills for the Blue Devils tonight. Barra will come in to serve. Duke for the match, hitting 470. But the Blue Devils also playing some really good defense. Coastal hitting just 186 tonight. Barrow serves that one in. Back row attack is, they say touched. Malone gets the put away. And the Blue Devils will ask for the challenge, I believe, here. And she, she being Coach Nagel, asking Gracie Johnson, hey, did you touch that? And Gracie Johnson said no. The line judge had that touched. So they will be reviewing whether or not the ball was touched. So another review here. Duke was successful on their first challenge tonight. See if the Blue Devils can go 2-0 here on this challenge. Here comes the verdict, and they're going to call Coach Nagel over. And I wonder if that's one of these cases where they didn't have enough evidence to overturn it. So Coastal will retain the point, it appears. And I'll talk to Coach Loswick. Wondering this is if they're just going to replay the point here. Well, one to one, Coastal's going to keep the serve. No, the call stands. Beg your pardon. So, Coastal does retain the point. They also get the serve back. Must win set here for the Sean to clears. Down two sets and on, although very competitive second set. Win extra points, Duke finally able to put it away with a 27-25 victory. Earnhardt, the sophomore. Left-handed serve, feeds Richardson, and then dunked over. Bryant able to keep it alive. Richardson, short arm that one. Duke's got a free ball at over here. Richardson will have the tip. It was Lewis. Playing it for Coastal and the termination from Revis. Coastal leading by a point, two to one. Now, Earnhardt again. Sean Clears, who have won back to back matches. They need to come from behind here, try to win three straight sets. That one a little long. Meanwhile, Duke, who has won seven straight, when you look at this little stretch Duke's been on over the last four matches, they've only lost one set in the last four matches. An ace there for Duke. They lost the one set at Michigan last weekend, swept North Carolina Central in the midweek, a sweep of Michigan State last Friday, a sweep of Elon in the midweek a couple of weeks ago. 3-2, Duke by a point. Revis off the double block. Worthington couldn't finish the point, but Rivas does for Coastal. In the nine matches Duke has played this year, the third set's kind of been their bugaboo, if you will. Blue Devils are five and four in the third set this year. And another tip, another point for Coastal. Meanwhile, the Chanticleers have played pretty well in the third set, they're six and four, and they're leading by a point here, four to three. Serve continuing now for Lewis. Served into Kerry Keefe. Richardson, is it in? It is, back line. Sixth kill for Reagan Richardson, for Rachel Richardson, beg your pardon. Of course, Reagan Richardson, a star on the Duke women's basketball team. Four, four. Third set, Richardson to serve. Yeah. 
Gracie Johnson. Oh, a great dig. Johnson will try to terminate and does. 15 kills for Gracie Johnson. Duke by one. Revis to the back row for Richardson. Now in the middle, another powerful swing by Robinson. Feed the middles, good things happen. Robinson with her sixth kill of the contest. And Duke by two, six to four. Blue Devils have scored the matches last three. Nearly an ace, Keefe now. The finesse over by Keefe. Good play by Coastal to keep it alive. And they return the favor as Stout right there to dunk it over. Johnson with another kill. Gracie Johnson now with 15 kills in the contest. 7-5, Duke by two, Bryant serves. And another ace for Madison Bryant. Her third ace of the night. Three point Duke lead, eight to five. Bryant to serve. Just does graze it over the top of the net and gets another ace. Back to back aces for Madison Bryant. We've told you all night that the serve is the strength of this Duke team. Blue Devils tonight with seven service aces. Make it eight. Another one from the service line for Madison Bryant. Ten five Blue Devils in the third set. Duke has rattled off four straight points. A big part of that has been Madison Bryant, three straight service aces. No ace this time. Oh, a good dig by Earnhardt to keep the play alive for Coastal. And then blocked. Stout had the attack. It was blocked out on that opposite side there. And a point for the Shawnee Clears to break the rally for the Blue Devils. A side out. And now a 10-6 advantage for Duke as Coastal gets the service back. Put in play by Revis. In the middle, Fleming, another one. Five tonight for Lizzie Fleming. Fleming, we talked about her blocks that she needed, a couple of blocks tonight. She's now six away from cracking the top ten in program history and blocks in her career. Bryant nearly colliding there with Underwood. A little miscommunication gets Coastal on the board again. And it's an 11 to seven advantage for the Blue Devils, leading two sets to none. Underwood plays it to Keefe, passes it for Johnson. Able to keep it alive there was Revis. Now this way, blocked! Fleming and Keefe. The double block. And a five point Duke lead. Johnson played in on the serve, received nicely by Lewis. Now, a little bit of a miss set there. Blue Devil was trying to recover. Back row attack, Johnson. Another Gracie Johnson kill, her 17th of the night. Only three errors for Johnson this evening, too. She's hitting four, pardon me, she's hitting 500 
on the match, and the Blue Devils leading 13 to seven. And blocked out off the attack there by Stout. Richardson couldn't keep it in. 13 to eight now, Coastal with the advantage, or at the deficit, but they've got the serve. Stout will serve. Stout named the Florida High School Athletic Association for a player of the year and the big school player of the year during her time in high school, but the Blue Devils in the middle again. 14 to eight Blue Devils beginning to pull away here in this third set. Sydney Tomlack will enter for the Blue Devils as does Christina Barrow. It'll be Barrow to serve. Maybe the night done for Gracie Johnson with 17 kills, four digs, and a 500 hitting percentage. We'll see. Maybe Coach Nagel feeling like the Blue Devils have a big enough lead here, leading two sets to none. Great dig by Tom Lack. Goes over the net. Coastal end system here. Near side attack. Off the block. There's Richardson to play it. Tom Lack stumbles and a shot to clear point. Fleming will come back in as Earnhardt for the shot to clears goes back to serve. Earnhardt, the left-handed serve. And a point for the shot to clears, a net violation there of the Blue Devils. I believe that was Worthington that might have gone over the net trying to bring that one back. So back-to-back -back points here for Coastal. They're within four all of a sudden and looking to get on a little bit of a rally. Blue Devils won the opening set, 25-14, to 14, a 27-25 Duke advantage in set number two. Kerry Keefe fighting through the double block and able to put it away. It'll be Keefe, the sophomore back to serve again. Nice night for Kerry Keefe as well. Nine digs, 10 kills, a couple of blocks, and an ace. Blocked in again. Robinson and Worthington. Duke by six. Dug out by Bryant. Worthington for Richardson. Blocked in by the shots. Solo block, it looked like that time from Valentina Verarni. 16 to 11, that breaks the little Duke spurt. And now Lewis to serve it again. Put a slick spot on the floor, maybe a spot of perspiration. Sydney Lewis ready to serve. Worthington for Richardson. Off the tip. Seven kills to go along with five digs for Rachel Richardson. And she has the service now for the Blue Devils. Bryant might have dug that one out with her chin. Johnson back in there puts it over. Now looking for the block and gets it. Robinson and Johnson. And the Shanta clears call their final timeout with Duke leading. 18 to 11, Duke the advantage in this third set. Duke has already claimed victory in the first two sets tonight, 25-14 and 27-25. And Rachel Richardson now serving to extend the lead for the Blue Devils. Earnhardt plays it, set this way. Revis fighting through the double block and scores. Robinson couldn't block it cleanly there. And Coastal able to get the side out, get the serve back. Benji back in for the shots and will handle the service. Duke's defense has been very good again tonight. Coastal hitting 220 but it's been a balanced effort offensively for Duke tonight. Service error there by Benji. 17 kills for Gracie Johnson. 
10 kills for Kerry Keefe. Then you've got Rachel Richardson with seven. Jess Robinson and Lizzie Fleming each with six. Has been Rivas, who is kind of the primary focal player in Coastal's offense. She has a dozen kills tonight. Really nice match for Rivas. In the middle, a couple of Blue Devils trying to get there. More perhaps miscommunication as it was Underwood trying to play that one. Six point Duke lead, 19 13. And Rivas to serve. Set up for Johnson. Dug out by Lewis. Back row attack. There's Bryant on the dig. Now Keith, the left-handed attack. Oh, a little bit of a knuckleball on that one. And a 20 to 13 Duke advantage. <laughs> Billy Muir ready to serve now for the Blue Devils. Keefe is out for Duke. Duke by seven. Duke by six. Really powerful play there in the middle. And a nice put away for Coastal Carolina. Unal to serve. Murr in the middle for Fleming, just kind of finesses that one over. Nice play to keep it alive by Benji. Now at the net, great dig. And off the block, another point in Gazielo for the Blue Devils. The redshirt sophomore who's playing in her fifth set of the season gives Duke a seven point lead. And now it's Gracie Johnson to serve again. And serves it long. 21-16 now. 2015, beg your pardon. Coastal serving. Stout to put it in play. Serves it in and an ace for Stout. Her first ace of the night. She's had a really great match. Stout, four kills, 12 assists, a couple of digs, and now an ace filling up the stat sheet for the Chanticleers tonight. Serves Richardson, and Gaziello hits that one along. 21-17. Back-to-back points here for Coastal. And that one is out, barely. Stout had a really good serve there, nearly served it in. It'll be Lizzie Fleming's turn to serve now for Duke. Fleming floats it over at the net. Richardson, yes! The eighth for Rachel Richardson. And the Blue Devils looking for the penultimate point of this match. Lisek and Johnson couldn't keep it alive. Bailey Earnhardt now to serve for the shots of clears. And a service error, and it is match point for Duke. Sydney Yap will come in to serve for the match. I think 
perhaps an issue with the contact here. Valentina Barani holding her eye or temple area. The athletic trainer coming over to help out. So maybe bring over some contact lens solution. Just needs a drop or two in the eye. And if you wear contacts, you know how painful that can be and how irritating it can be. Contact lens is not exactly like you want it to be. Ronnie says, yeah, I think I'm okay. Give me a second. Can't see. Yeah, now I'm good. Thumbs up for everybody. Twenty-four eighteen, Sydney Yap serving for the match. Punched over. There's Richardson. Now the set for Johnson, who finishes the match with her 18th kill.